I'm Nat Aram. I'm the founder of Hook Grip. I'm here with Tokyo Olympian. Oh, should I say 2020, 2021? I think they're going 2020, but okay. I like 2021. All right, 2021 <laughs> Olympian, Kate and I. We're here at the Hawaii um, training base, I guess I would call it. Um, the U.S. team is kind of here preparing before they go to Tokyo. Um, you're about eight days out right now? I think nine. Nine days out? It's tough to tell because we're kind of like ahead of Tokyo, but kind of behind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, what we're doing here today is we're here to, I guess, kind of, I don't have a good name for this series yet, even though I plan on doing a lot of these, and this is the first one. <laughs> Um, but basically, we're here to like review essentially every video that we've ever shot of Kate. Um, we're not going to do photos. It would take too long and kind of irrelevant. But it turns out it's 16 meets, starting at the 2016 American Open, going all the way through um, a few weeks ago at the 2021 USA Weightlifting Nationals. Um, we're not going to do our normal slow motion sort of videos. Um, people have kind of seen that. For any of your good lifts, you know, we've put up the slow motion so people can go see those. What we're doing here is we're actually watching all six lifts from all 16 meets. Um, we're going to try and do this fairly fast paced. Um, we're not going to go deep into training methodology. We're not going to go deep into things like you know, injuries and recovery and this and that and blah, 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 all this stuff, partly because we just don't have time for it. Partly because, as you said, you're, wait, did you say nine? Yeah. Nine days out. You're nine days out from the Tokyo Olympics. We're trying to keep everything positive and just not, not too, you know, we're not trying to put any like negative, <laughs> you know, vibes out there. So it's going to be, <laughs> you know, just a positive experience. Um, and basically, hopefully we'll do um, more of these in the future. And some of those will be kind of longer form, maybe, you know, even one or two hour sorts of things, maybe with Kate, uh, you know, obviously with other athletes as well. So anyway, um, what we'll do is we'll kind of watch the videos. We'll be also splicing in the screen recording of the laptop and as well as the actual videos themselves. So the first meet, as I mentioned, is the 2016 AO. Um, in the background, you can see that we have, and anyone can pause the video and look at these if we want. Oh, we're on the wrong spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> we, I was like, I was looking at, it, I was like, wait a second. I was like, you, you snatched that much? I was like, oh, oh crap. Um, so anyway, now we're looking at Kate's results. Um, you can see some of the uh, American records. You can see some of the, you know, the world record, and you can see PRs and stuff like that. So we'll just start with the 2016 American Open. So this is the first time we ever shot Kate. Another thing to note, this isn't necessarily her first meet, and th these are, you know, these 16 meets are obviously not all of her meets. I mean, we missed her first national meet, which was 2016 Youth Nationals, right? Mm -hmm. um, we've missed some other, you know, things along the way, but um, we, we basically have all the biggest lifts. We have all the biggest and best lifts and American records and stuff like that. And I think, I mean, I think it's pretty clear that we probably have the best archive of media of anyone. Like, there's really no one that could even do maybe even a third of this. Yeah. Um, so it'll be kind of cool. All right, so let's start with 2016 AO. <laughs> a little bit loud. All right. All right, so that was the first lift, 76, or, yeah, 76, 79. So this was an American record. Yeah, I was so little. <laughs> yeah, you were little. You were very happy. <laughs> so this was your third attempt, another American record attempt. Came close. Yeah. Oh, God. So what do you remember from this? Um, not a whole lot. I remember just being... Were you nervous? Uh, not too much. I didn't really understand weightlifting enough to be nervous, I don't think. I wasn't too bought in yet. Were you just kind of, I mean, you know, obviously you're setting an American record. Were you thinking like, oh, this is a fun hobby? Or were you thinking like, oh, I want to, you know, make, you know, junior teams, senior teams, Olympic teams? Um, or were you not at that level yet? I don't think we were looking at really teams yet, but we definitely were going for these records and just kind of seeing where I could end up, you know? So I don't remember exactly what the record was before this, but I know 105, this one was a record. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think 102 was a clean and jerk record and this got the total or something. Or no, okay. this got the clean and jerk record, I think. Yeah. I think. Yeah, on the spreadsheet, I did note that this definitely was a clean and jerk rec clean and jerk and total record. That belt was so big. Okay. That was a better jerk. No, nope, good one. Bad. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so that was your first 
national meet. So did, did anything before your, your mindset before this and after this, did anything really change or you don't really remember any, any details? I feel like I remember feeling like I actually kind of belonged in weightlifting after this, kind of like readjusted my goals a little bit. I feel like after this is kind of when I started looking at teams, I want to say. And I think so junior the next teams. junior nationals will kind of show that, I think. Yeah. Like I we were going for numbers, I think, to try to make that Tokyo. Yeah. Junior Worlds, I believe, and I will we'll look at that. <laughs> yeah, we'll go to that in a sec. Yeah. I guess the, the Tokyo thing was interesting because, at the and you've kind of had different, um, I don't know if rivals is the right word, but you've definitely had kind of different people you were kind of competing against. Yeah. And in 2017, it was really just Maddie Myers. Maddie Myers and Meredith were. Yeah, Meredith. But Meredith wasn't. Um, she was a 63. Yeah, but I'm saying like she wasn't uh, quite as. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I, f I feel like Maddie Myers was like definitively yeah. ahead of you. At oh, the time. yeah. Me and Meredith and, were kind of more were, close. Yeah, you were close. So you were trying to catch Maddie. At the yeah. Time. All right. So this is the next meet. This was in Kansas City, as you can see. What was that? <laughs> My pole was so janky. So this was meet number two. So 82, 86. At the time, you're no longer a youth. Yeah. So you're now going, you're now in what the senior category. <laughs> oh, nice. my <laughs> Alright, so this is this is your one and only bomb that we have on video, I think. Oh wow. Um Yeah, this was rough. Was this the cut or I mean what were you doing in training at the time, if you remember any of that? Um I feel like the training went okay. Um I remember like we really thought I think I only had to make this opener to make the Tokyo team. If I'm remembering correctly. Oh, really? So this was um, the Tokyo team here. Water cuts, um, we didn't really do them at the time. I would just like eat less, so okay. I wasn't eating a whole lot. Um, yeah, I did not belong um, in the 63 class. It just wasn't good for me. Yeah, we'll I was see way that too young as in we... Sport. <laughs> like, <laughs> it gets progressively worse. <laughs> well, you really see it. I feel like the meat that kind of like broke it for you was the junior nationals the next year. Yeah, was, yeah. Was that, that was when you were like, that's it, I'm, yeah. done, I'm done with it. And I feel like <laughs> we kind miserable. of got a taste of 69 in Anaheim at the AO. Yeah, and, and I were, wanted it. And, and, and then you were like, you're like, wait, I'm, I want to go back to that. But yeah, why am I wasting well, my we'll, time We'll with review this. that in a second. All right, okay. so next one, I actually don't have memorized what's next, so I'm just hitting down. Okay, so this is 2017 okay. nationals. Hook grip socks. Huh? Hook grip socks. Look at that. Yeah. Are those Russian wraps? Uh, I don't even I know what wraps Yeah, I are. think they are. I think this is probably when you started sending me stuff. Huh. Um, so I was, was early on sending you stuff. My first national medal. Oh, okay. You know, I didn't write down medals. But 89. Yeah. But I remember, like, at national championships, I got the bronze medal snatch, I believe. I want to say, like... 100. So that you, you opened a little bit lower, I guess, because you weren't trying to make the junior team, and you just kind of probably wanted to get a good lift in. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, my legs were so low. Um, four. Yeah, I feel like I remember this being like a pretty decent meet, all in all. I don't know if I ever, I even had many goals besides, you know, going to my first nationals. I guess at this point, you know, you weren't in line for, you know, things like, you know, senior world teams and yeah. stuff. Uh, it just wasn't quite there yet. Yeah, kind of like that era for me, like just getting experience out there. That's you a know? small jump, four to six. I guess you just thought that was what you could do that day. I mean, yeah, as you can see, my core strength was non-existent. Jeez, my jerk was my good lift, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, let me just put this down real quick just to see what we're looking at. So basically, you're saying that this 89 was your first national medal? Yes, okay. I believe so. So I guess... And the 93 was an attempt at a, a junior record. I, I think that yes. Maddie had the record at 92 at that point. Yeah, and, and we so can, we'll see that more at the AO3, which yeah. I think is the next one. Yeah, it's the next one. So AO3, um, and even though I didn't, I didn't want to make this too long, um, but AO3, we, um, you know, we're, we're kind of missing that battle with Maddie Myers here. Yeah, yeah. Because this was a real interesting battle, especially in the snatch, where like it was like you know you would set a record, then she would set a record, then you would set a record. It's kind of yeah. like. I, I think there were like four American records yeah. in a row or something like that. I think you posted a video of it, didn't you? I, I did, you did. I did post a video. It's probably on YouTube if someone wants to, you know, uh, you know, Google. Uh, at the time you were Vibert, so I wrote Vibert. So Kate Vibert, Maddie Myers. I think there was like, 
I think that video is out there somewhere. All right, so let's go to 2017 AO3. Yeah, biggest opener. Yeah, 90s. I mean, this this was, I think, obviously before this, I knew you were good and you were going to make junior teams, but I think this was the meet where I realized, like, oh, wait, she's going to be, like, a future senior team member. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's yeah. kind of like you kind of take that leap. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, well, she's not just a good... Because there's good juniors, and then there's, you know, good... There's good juniors who you know are not going to turn into good seniors. Yeah. So, obviously, the snatch was my stronger. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that 96, I mean, that was a big... And I, I think you never lost that American record, right? I think, like, that junior record was just there the whole time for the rest of the... I mean, it was only another year with the weight class. Yeah. I mean, it was a pretty big one. So this was, I think, where you first started to realize, like, oh, God, this is tough being a 63 and trying to clean and jerk. Because yeah. <laughs> you, you were getting into weights. You know, it's one thing to clean and jerk 100, 105, and it's another thing to get into, like, the 110, 115, 120 range as a 63. You start to realize, like, oh, you're maybe too tall for it. You can, like, watch my waist getting smaller by the belt. Like, no joke. Well, I, like, yeah. I kept gaining muscle, and that made but your the waist cut harder. Smaller. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh I, wow. I thought I almost had that. Yeah, I mean, you had the power to do it, but you just didn't have the stability, yeah. really. My um, core was just not there. Let's see. So the next meet is the AO. So actually, this so this next meet was your first um, actual 69 meet. So this 69. Was a, and I don't know if you were full 69. I didn't write it down. But um, one thing I should note, so your third snatch was 98. This video is missing the 98. We actually do have it, but it's kind of complicated what happened with it. Um, but anyway, so so starting with 95, hook rip socks. <laughs> uh, so here's your 95 make. That was a pretty nice one. Yeah. You do a little bit of like a wobble standing up sometimes, but you seem to not, you never like lose it during that wobble. No. Oh, well, look at how much better that clean was. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's not even close. Like, <laughs> you, like you actually look like you are making the weight rather than praying yeah. you make the weight. Probably was about 67 kilos, if I had to guess. 66, maybe? So were you thinking at this time, like, damn, I should have moved up earlier and been on the world team? No, I feel like almost immediately, like, following 2017. Is the first time you tried 20? Um, or did you try it in training? I feel like I've done, like, 21 maybe in training or something like that. Okay. I want to say. But, yeah, I feel like after this meet was when, like, oh, my gosh, my clean and jerks didn't feel like I was going to pass out every single time. Um, and, like, the opener didn't feel like a struggle. That made me really want to be a 69. But with Rogers up there, it was, like, it was really hard to commit to that because, like, being the best Meredith did 25 here, too. Did she? I don't know. Meredith, Meredith did 25. At this meet. And she beat me? Yeah. Yeah. And so, like, I guess maybe the two of them, you were thinking about that, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, it was much like, more daunting yeah. than, like, Myers, who was doing CrossFit and, like, whatever. Like, it definitely seemed more attainable in the 63s, but yeah, my body said, no, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so next meet is your last meet at 63. Oh, oh really? I think. My final, my final run. So this is, um, <laughs> yeah. So bad. 2018 Junior Nationals. This was in Spokane. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Harrison, Spokane. is it Spokane? Spokane. Okay. Sorry. I think I knew that. That was my one made snatch. No. Yeah, 94. <laughs> so this was an attempt at a record. I remember close. being annoyed this entire competition. Like just. Just being 63? Yeah. Like the cut was so bad and I was so tired by the time I was warming up that I was. I was just annoyed. Like, I wanted it over with. I could tell when I was watching this this meet, like, especially that. I still vividly remember watching these <laughs> these these lifts, thinking, yeah, there's no way she's staying here. Yeah. Because I was just like, you know, no matter what, it's just like, she's just looking kind of wild in the clean and jerks. Yeah. Especially compared to the AO that was, like, what, two months before? Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, I knew it was going to take you time. To be honest, I actually thought it was going to take you more time to get good in the because like by, by the end of 2018 you're doing really you know you're doing like senior american records mm -hmm. so it was kind of like i thought it would take you more than a year mm -hmm. and i actually thought maybe you had moved up a little bit late to catch maddie but obviously i was wrong so. 
Yeah. <laughs> what was that? I think you were trying to re-rack and just didn't know what you were doing or something. Uh, I don't know. I just got wrecked by a re-rack. What is wrong with well, me? Lots of people get wrecked by re-racks. It's embarrassing. But. That was really bad. All right, so the next meet is um, 2018 USA Nationals. Okay. And I believe, so this is your first 69 Junior American record. Okay. And it's also your first Junior American record total. Cool. Um, this, I don't remember this one. Maybe oh, when I see it. Yeah. This was Kansas City, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. This was where um, yeah. USA Weightlifting stopped printing on the banners. I'm not sure if you noticed, but in 2017 and stuff, it would say where it was in the background. Oh, they don't do that anymore? Now they just do, like, generic banners. Huh. And so it gets a little confusing sometimes. Oh, I remember this lift. So this was your first junior record in the 69s. So Maddie had this at 102 for like 2015. <laughs> so this was probably where, you know, you probably were first like, okay, I'm coming from Maddie hard. You yeah. know what I mean? Even though you were still, at the time, like behind in the clean and jerk. But you were like right there in the snatch. So it's insane 18. the difference between junior nationals and nationals here and so this was about three months difference i want to say yeah like that weight cut like just destroyed me yeah this 24 looks great like you don't look like you're you know dying no i mean it looks like, heavy but it doesn't look like you're dying yeah the stability was huge for me that's a 28 i don't think you made did you make this uh, i don't i actually don't remember i i just looked at the sheet but i already forgot Kind of still had Bambi legs, even though I went up. It took a while. Well, it takes time to adjust to that. Oh, 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 oh that's close. I was gonna say I didn't. I didn't want to save things. <laughs> yeah, you were still. I mean, another thing to remember is that you were. I mean, two years in. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you're not like, you know, you know, 14 years in like some, you know, people who start when they're really young. Mm -hmm. So. Um, Let's see, so next meet was 2018 Junior World. So this was actually your first international meet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, 96. I feel like I was really nervous for this. And then it um, definitely felt like validated once I uh, finally got up on stage and felt like I had a good meet. What a four. So this, this meet you were competing mainly against Sarah from Egypt. Yep. Yep. Um, so you're up to 17 opener. Which is crazy considering, you know, where you were six months before. Yeah. So this was July, and you can see on the background, but it was July 2018. Yeah, I qualified for um, the 63 and the 69 spot, and that was kind of the final straw. Like, I was pretty sure I was done with 63s. But we got in a call with, like, Megan, our nutritionist, and Phil, and Mike, and Piros, and we kind of just told them, well, go wherever you guys want us to go and they were like if you guys don't go to 69 uh it'd be a mistake so that's kind of what happened there so yeah that was a really big clean and jerk for me at the time 25. yeah i think just because of yeah just who who you were who you were dealing with i don't know if you had the record i think what what was the clean and jerk junior american record at the time i don't even remember I don't know, but Maddie Myers... I want to say it was Jenny Arthur. Was it? I think it was Jenny Arthur with like 27. Maddie Myers was just such a good clean and jerker that it felt like it was just... It took me a really long time to try to catch up with Myers. Yeah, but at this point you're, you're not even in her class anymore. Oh, I have no idea then. Well, she was 63. I think it was Jenny Arthur with 27. I actually remember that list. Oh, I think okay. it was 2012 AO now I think about it. Wow. So, um, all right, so... 2018 AO. So this one was the one where, obviously, like I said, the 20, 2018 Nationals was where, you know, or 20, 2017 AO3 was where I was like, wait, she's going to be a senior lifter. That's good. 2018 Nationals was where I was like, okay, she's coming for Maddie at this point. <laughs> um, and then, you know, 2018 AO was like, okay, she pretty much caught Maddie. So mm -hmm. now it's like, now it's just a matter of like, I was like, this is going to be really interesting because at this point, 2018 AO, we're, we're into like, you know, Olympic qualification and it's going to be like, well, there's only one person per class, so what's going to happen? Yeah, right, and so I didn't make Worlds that year, so this was kind of like my equivalent to Worlds. Yeah, and I guess the, the Worlds thing, I guess partly that was just Meredith and 
uh, Maddie, you're just making it ahead of you, but wasn't it also that you, didn't you have like an appendix yeah. uh, that year? Yeah, an emergency appendectomy, and I had to miss AO3 because of that, so. Yeah. I, I mean, it's hard to say like, oh, I would have made it, um, but I definitely would have been in the mix if I were to go to that last qualifier. So I had to sit at home and watch people <laughs> bump yeah. me off the team, which is not fun, but yeah. it worked out. Was it Hunter that bumped you? Or, or Meredith. Ma Meredith. Oh, yeah, Meredith. I guess. Yeah, Hunter Maddie and Meredith took the 71s. Okay. All right, so let's go to 2018 AL. So this was like, I mean, pr almost certainly your, your best meet so far yeah. you know you, you six went six for, six for six senior american record junior american records etc so yeah this is this will go down as one of my favorite meets of all time um so this was in milwaukee i believe it doesn't say in the it? background remember I they stopped no they stopped saying it. i'm pretty sure 2018 ao was in milwaukee so 104 just like the most confident i've ever felt like i feel like my technique made good strides between Junior Worlds in this meet, too. So this is your first senior American record. Yep. I remember it like yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. I do remember this meet, too. <laughs> oh, and the, and Not the, the trip. <laughs> I left it in on purpose, by the way. I could have trimmed that out. But <laughs> I, I noticed it. I was like, I'm leaving that. I in. forgot about that. All right, so 23. And at this point is, like, where I feel like I'm seeing, like, modern Kate technique. You know, like uh, in some of the 2017 stuff, it just doesn't even look like your technique as no. much. Whereas like now I'm seeing like, you know, you kind of look like you kind of like lift the same way now, just heavier weight. Yeah. Yeah, I think when I was a 63, my technique was more of a product of my environment, you know, yeah. not so much because that's how my technique should have been. It was just kind of how do I get to positions as easy as possible, you know? So this was a junior record. Oh wait, this was junior record total, not clean and jerk. Yeah, the okay. clean and jerk took a while. And the, but this was big because you did a 237 total and you know, you're competing with Maddie and at the time her totals in this class were, you know, 235, 238. That was like her best totals. Mm -hmm. So you pretty much reached her total. Mm -hmm. um, you weren't quite there with her clean and jerk yet, but you were like ahead of her snatch and right there with her total so it was like all right it, this was when i realized that 2019 was going to get really interesting <laughs> because yeah you, and were, it did. <laughs> you, you know i i knew before this that you were coming for the snatch like i knew you know when, when i saw stuff like at you know junior worlds and at usaw nationals and stuff like that i like i knew the snatch was coming i didn't quite realize that your clean jerk was like gonna get into the third like mid high 30s in mm -hmm. 2019 i mean you know it's yeah. tough to predict that but some people kind of like make progress and some people don't but you yeah. you did all right so 2019 junior national so this was kind of a weird meet this was um this was like a combination with pan am trials but you were in like junior nationals if you remember this this was in yeah. chicago yeah, yeah yeah and so i think that you might have been in the same session as maddie at this one so this was kind of like yeah yeah she was her and i think meredith were both there i think even though they weren't juniors so yeah so they but the, yeah they were there competing for the pan am trials and obviously pan am trials was like a really big deal because it was your chance to get in the gold meet you know what <laughs> yeah. i mean and you, you like you you know at the time obviously you were you were probably thinking like i need this gold meet like i need you know Cause like well, I needed it because I didn't go to Worlds. Exactly. If I didn't make it to Pan Ams, in total at Pan Ams, my Olympic run would have been over right then and there. Exactly. So, so. this this was a, an important meet from that perspective. Yeah. It was a good battle, too, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So this, was, this was an interesting start. <laughs> um, so four, then five. Uh -huh. Nice and easy five. Yeah. And then this was an improvement on your senior record. Yeah, I really enjoyed this lift. 108. Yeah, I was actually was looking really at solid. this one the other day. Right, so 26. Yeah, so that's a pretty big any, opener. Yeah, I, I was going to say, it's a big opener. Was this, like, what would solidify you on the team? I don't even know. Like, I mean, obviously it depended on what they did in the session, too. It's hard to tell, like, what our thought process at the time was. Because um, I feel like 37 was a pretty good total. Oh, God. Um... I think 37 was a pretty good total to fend Meredith off at the time. Yeah. Um, 
So I'm not sure, but I think, yeah, the goal was mostly to probably just beat out whatever Meredith and Maddie were doing at the time. Like maybe Maddie was opening at 30 or whatever, so we put on 31 just to try to hang with the big dogs at the time. Yeah, um, so let's jump into think. your real, I mean, obviously the, the AO, 2018 AO was a real breakout meet, but this was like the real breakout where you were like, everyone was like, oh, wow, wait, what, what just <laughs> happened? All right, so this is Guatemala. <laughs> The 104 opener. Uh, I felt really nervous. Mm -hmm. like, just, just because of the gold points thing? Like, I just knew I had to make it count. Like, and I just felt like a lot of people, like, weren't, didn't think that I could do it. And I felt like I wanted I mean, to really this was prove massive. myself. Yeah. Like, at the time, that was crazy. Yeah. I think that's my favorite snatch, even over my 112. Yeah. Just because it was such a big deal, you know? All right, so 28. Yeah, another pretty big opener. I remember I wasn't at this meet. I had to go to another meet, but okay. I had someone there, you know, obviously taking the videos and photos and stuff. And I remember watching from afar and just being like, what in the world? <laughs> yeah. You know, because I kind of expected, you know, some, somewhere close to this, but it was like you kind of exceeded my expectations by a few kilos in the clean and dirt. Yeah. I was kind of expecting, okay, 31, but I wasn't expecting 35. I feel like you can see changes in my body at this point, too. Like, this is when I'm finally, like, filling out, and my, like, legs and glutes are st starting to look not so, you know, twiggy anymore. Well, um, you, you know, you had to grow into the class. Yeah, exactly. So I feel like this is kind of finally where that happened. I almost feel like that's where you're at now with 76. Because, like, you really didn't fill out 76 in, like, you know... Like, you know, in basically in the last couple of years. Like, no. But you're kind of, like, reaching that point now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm feel I definitely feel like I'm a pretty good 76 now, even leaned out a bit. All right. So, so next one was 2019 Junior Worlds. So this was Fiji. So your hair changed color. <laughs> <laughs> they, they had terrible lights in this meet. Like, yeah. It was really frustrating yeah. um, for me. Like, I, there was no way to make the videos really look that good. I tried all sorts of different settings. Right, so eight yeah. miss. The eight didn't look good, but the nine looks smooth. Yeah, I do that sometimes. <laughs> like it's weird because the eight looked like you had no business snatching eight, and then you snatch nine, no problem. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I feel like we have to remember too. Like this is my third international meet ever. Yeah, you weren't. Yeah. A lot was riding on this too because I still another had gold. to get another gold event in, um, and if I was going to make the Olympic team, it was kind of going to be because of my advantage of, as a junior, right. right? So And so this was second period, though. Yep, yep. Yeah. So this was a solid second period total. Um, 33. I also feel like this kind of solidified my, like, mentality that I was, like... So this is your PR cleaner. Yeah. As of now. Yeah. It's not for long. <laughs> not for long. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I finally felt like I belonged after this meet, I think. Because, you know, anyone can have one crazy good performance, but... And this is actually makes you the lightest American to ever clean and jerk 300 pounds. I remember we talked about that Sick. after the meet. Yeah. Remember that? And I was, like, I was like, wait, is that 300 pounds? And you're like, yeah, it is. I'm like, oh, you're right. That's sweet. Yeah. All right. So then we have um, Pan Am Games. So this was actually your first meet at 76, even though okay. I don't know, I don't think you were like a full 76. You just had to be because there is no 71 at the game. Yeah, absolutely not. I yeah. was very light. Um, so here's four. I don't think I've ever seen these before. Yeah, you haven't seen these videos. Nice, easy eight. Pretty good this one. Was, when I saw these, I was like, you really should have made this 12. Um, yeah. Because of how easy those were. And like, it just, it was just a little bit in front, but you like, you did it so easy. Like you were there. It yeah. And I think like that being like a junior world record really got me at the time. Oh, it would have been unofficial. Because well, you were 76. Game. And that was a 71 record. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just so. Yeah. But I think that you were preparing to hit that 12 Is later. that my opener? Yeah. You missed your opener. I, think, I remember feeling super lightheaded at this meet for some reason. So 35. So this, I think you got the bronze medal here. And by the way, I should yes. mention, you've actually never gone to an international meet and not medal. Yeah, that's a cool stat. That I like cool that. Stat. Even at a bomb out that I didn't cover, you still got, I think, the gold in the snatch. Yes, yeah. yes. 
Okay, so 40. I don't so even is, remember this. So you can tell I'm like <laughs> swaying a little bit. <laughs> you look really shaky here. I, I've never seen you look quite this shaky on a jerk. Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so skipping forward, then we have the worlds. So now, now we're coming into like, you know, your last couple meet, mm -hmm. so we're almost done here. But so this is obviously at this point, you're, you know, Pan Am champion, junior world champion. So now you're kind of going for senior world champion, which is a big accomplishment. I think no one other than Sarah had won senior worlds in, and Sarah did it at a meet where I think like, you know, nine countries were missing, mm -hmm. which of course is still impressive. But, yeah. Big day. Yeah. And I cut into 71 for this, actually. I remember talking with you before. Didn't you guys go to Japan before this and you were talking to me about, like, or you were, like, posting stories, which one am I going to do? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds I, like I knew me. you were going 71, though, obviously. Um, but that 112, we should mention, I mean, that was a junior world record. Yeah. You know, that's a pretty significant, I mean, obviously, you know, junior and senior American record, too, but junior world records are pretty crazy. Yeah. So this was one kilo under your clean and jerk uh, yeah. record. Yeah. The question was like, do we go on to 76 and full send it, getting ready for the Olympics? Because at this point it was becoming pretty clear, I feel like I was gonna make the Olympics even before Worlds. Um, yeah, we just wanted to know how hard we wanted to, you know, gain a lead. I right? felt like there was still a minor chance if you had like a terrible meet and Maddie had a great meet here that she could have overtaken you, but it seemed like it very remote. I yeah. agree with you at that point. All right, so now that's the second time you'd put a green plate on the bar. Yeah. <laughs> right? So much closer though, I will add. It was cool. You yeah, you didn't look like you were dying. And it's also worth noting that it's, you know, Pan Am Games, you were seven you were, you know, not seventy one and yeah. you look like you were dying. Here, that actually was pretty close. Yeah. You know, like it that wasn't that wasn't a, a you know, something at Pan Am Games the way I looked at it was like, All right, you're like you had no shot at that jerk after you're shaking like that. You know <laughs> what I mean? Whereas at Worlds, I was like, she could have made that. Yeah, Pan Am Games, I don't know what was going on. Um, I don't know if I was a little sick or what. I don't remember being sick, but I remember just feeling super lightheaded. Like, I, I don't you. know if it was like the, more of the production of Pan Am Games or what, but I was like just all over the place. Not really mentally, just physically wasn't really there, clearly, so. Yeah. And then, so coming into 2021, these are your 2021 meets, which are obviously lower, but we should note like you were coming off of some injuries. And actually, you can see if you look at the two of these that you're kind of like, you know, rounding into form. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you actually look a lot better. Well, you'll see. But this one, it, it clearly looked like you were just rusty. You know, like you just hadn't, you know, lifted in a meet in a while and, you know, this and that. And obviously, you had switched coaches mm -hmm. and everything. So, um, so like that yeah. just looked rusty. Dumb like, meat. Well, you had the power there. What, like, you look at how easily you make it. You know what I mean? No, <laughs> it's uh, yeah. It was a rough couple months leading into this, and um, besides the two lifts I missed, we kind of came what we set out to do. We weren't even really fighting for a specific medal or anything like that. Just yeah. doing the Olympic qualification thing. Yeah. At this point, you thought you had to go. Mm -hmm. Then they changed the rules and yeah, said you didn't have right. to go. We probably. What's I don't even know if we would have gone. Yeah, I mean, There's that's no a point. Spencer question, but it's a... Uh, well, maybe just for, you know, just getting back into doing competitions, it would have been a point. But what was interesting is, like, this 35 doesn't really look great. But then if you go to your 35 that was just like, you know... So this is 105, by the way. That uh, blue plate is like a tracking plate. Yeah. Um, you know, you can see how much better your 35 looks here. Yeah. And another thing to note is that, I mean, you posted... A like a week or two before this, you snatched 114. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. yeah. So we didn't peak for nationals and like not, I definitely could have done that 10, you know, it's yeah. just kind of goofed on it. Um, so yeah, we didn't peak for this or anything, but just kind of tried to get back into those normal numbers um, just to kind of ramp up into Tokyo. So clean and jerks felt much better. But this, this 35 to me looked just like really solid yeah. compared to the the other one, which obviously you didn't stand up, but so it's a little tough to tell, but like to me, this looks solid. Yeah, I don't think I've seen my 40 attempt here. And here, so this is the third time you've put a green on. Yeah, positionally, I mean, it's nothing to do with strength. I even said right after, if I were to catch it, I would have cleaned it and jerked yeah. it. Um, <laughs> I know that's like totally what if, but yeah. Um, yeah, I'm excited to, you know, 
push it again because I'm feeling better now. So. Yeah, okay. so we will wrap this up here. Um, we've already gone a bit longer than I anticipated. Yeah, um, a little bit over half an hour. But um, thank you for coming on. Good luck in Tokyo. Thank you. And um, I will be watching from afar. Thank you.